How to create a single horizontal title line where each word is assigned with a different colour in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6. .6. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Titles. Go to click and drag a text plus tool to your edit timeline. Adjust the length by using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, and click and drag at the end to adjust the duration keeping an eye on the time and frame difference which appears in a box alongside your cursor. With your text plus edit selected, go to inspector and underneath text, enter the message that you wish to have appearing in a single horizontal line. Select your desired font and size, keeping the color set to white. In this particular example, I will stick with the default font Open Sans and will set the size to 0.15. Now go to shading, Underneath Properties, select Gradient, so now that we can apply multiple colours to our text. With the black colour node selected underneath the Shading Gradient bar, I will double click on the black box to change this specific colour in this gradient. Here I will select a light blue shade with the hex decimal code hash 0055FF. Click OK. To ensure that the gradient shades are spread across horizontally and across the whole line of text, Change Mapping Angle to 270 and change Mapping Level from Character to Line. I wish for the blue shade to only apply to the first word in my title line. Hover your mouse cursor over the Shading Gradients bar once again, away from the existing nodes on either end, so that an addition symbol appears next to your cursor, enabling you to add an extra node that you can use to apply colour to your text. Click once. And with the Shading Gradient node selected, I will apply the same colour which I applied to the first node in the Shading Gradients bar, hash 0055FF. Click OK. The two Shading Gradient nodes to the left represent the colour that I will apply to the first word. I will keep the first node set at position 0.0, .0 and will click on and adjust the position of the second node so that the colour is applied to the whole of the first word only. Adjust the position of your final node on the right to ensure that the first colour shade does not spill in to any other words. Here in this example, with this particular font of Open Sans, the difference in positioning of these two nodes, which apply to neighbouring words, are positioned 0.02 apart. I will double click on the white box here and change this colour to red, which I will apply to the second word. Click to apply another shading gradient node alongside this to the right which will also incorporate the same colour shade. I will go to add another node to the right here, this time with a different colour of yellow, hash FFFF00. And manually adjust the position of the nodes on the shading gradient bar until your selected shades apply to separate words. Repeat this process depending on the number of words in your title line. Should your chosen font position words too closely together, you can select the transform option underneath text plus, Choose Words next to Transform and increment the value for spacing to spread out the words in your title more to reduce the chance of a gradient spillage. By default, the black surrounding of your words inside your Text Plus Edit contains alpha value, meaning that you can position the Text Plus Edit above other video tracks in your edit timeline so that you can see other videos and images below your text. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.